What up YouTube? Flipmoto here, and guess what? It's new bike day. I finally got it delivered. It's the Livewire S2 Del Mar, and if you've been listening or watching the channel for the past year or so, I've mentioned this several times about it being on order, and it's finally here. Yep, about five days old for me, but this is the first time I've been able to ride it in clear weather, and I'm pretty excited about that. Uh, dealership told me this was number six, right? Six, uh, been delivered in Texas. I believe they said this, but one or two special editions were delivered maybe three, four weeks ago. Then this came in a couple weeks ago, and I picked it up after about a week, and haven't really been able to do much on it yet, less than let's call it 80 miles and mostly in the rain this will be a nice clear commute home for me uh i bought this to commute to and from work and with a few other things you know spicy stuff to go with that uh so range not that big of a deal for me um i plan on doing sort of a doug demiro quirks and features type video more in depth this is just my short ride uh, i'm going on vacation for a week tomorrow i thought i'd just throw some content in there since i have such a beautiful day and i get to uh do a real quick like two or three minutes on the bike and then that's all the video is going to be uh, so why don't you come take a ride with me and we'll just get a little bit of the experience going right let's see turn it on flip the kickstand Wish the startup screen just a tad bit faster, but you know, it's nice crystal clear. Everything goes pretty quick. Press start and she's good to go. Uh, should have my phone and my headset already synced up and I do. So let's stop that music. You can't hear it, I can. And we got a bit of a clusterfuck going on right here. Of course it's gotta be wet. So yeah, I've been in rain mode since I've bought this thing. And uh, so I get to finally ride it in the clear. Woo -hoo -hoo -hoo! This thing is fucking fast. So yeah, that's just exhilarating how quick it is. No warm up, just on and go. And that's not even sport mode. That wasn't full throttle. Uh, I have not even tried the track mode yet. And I know videos are gonna sound weird with this thing because it doesn't make any engine noise. And so there's just gonna be a lot of wind noise. Uh, I don't know. I'm kind of doing this video just to see what it all sounds like too, based on that. Um, so here we're at 86%, 98 mile range right now got the brights on I don't know if that has anything to do with range or not but the one thing I wanted to highlight before uh, you know I do any detailed review or just get into what I wanted to call the quirks and features because it's got a lot of little quirks and a lot of features so one thing I wanted to mention is just how nice it rides but how awesome the design details are uh, the designers and live wire crew put a lot of attention to detail on this bike and it really shows and I think that's one of the things that put me over the edge when I test rode this saw this compared to uh, the zeros the zeros have uh, the models that would compete with this have a little bit of uh, plastic kind of feel to them where this has just got a premium bike feel to it uh it's pretty interesting we were talking about it at the dealership and they're like yeah why well, spend all the money to put brembos on this thing because you have uh regenerative braking and you don't really need it and i'll tell you what i was like hmm interesting point and then as soon as you ride this you're like no 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 it needs really good brakes it is so easy to get into trouble with this thing it is so fantastic. It's like leapfrog in the traffic. And I just got to watch myself too because the uh, state troopers have been cracking down on this road here. And 
seen a lot of people pulled over this week, so I'm probably not going to rain, lane split today. Rain split, that's what I was doing in the rain. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I'm not gonna lane split too much. Let's like just see what happens when we jump ahead here. Usually shouldn't do this, but let's hope a trooper's not around. But man, this is the perfect, perfect commuting bike. Just one little flick of the wrist and you jump right ahead of any car you want to. I do feel like the bars are a little on the wide side, but that's a personal preference thing. I think quite a few people like wide bars on their naked bikes. And that is essentially what this thing is, is a naked bike. So let's settle down on the blast every red light at full throttle because I'll tell you what, it does eat up quite a bit of the range if you do ride that way. It's, but it's always nice to have it there when you're waiting. So, what little details that I think were so special? I'll tell you what, the battery is just killer uh, design. And it's used as the frame, and it's a modular frame, according to Livewire. And this S2 codenamed, like, Arrow, I think it is, uh, will be the backbone of a few other models. Um, they went with the Dirt Tracker first. And uh, I kind of like it with the profile is a little odd, a little strange. Um, it's got cool little details, you know. I could see why they were uh, kind of digging into their Harley backlog, uh, you know, since they're well known for their dirt tracker. And uh, so I see why they went with this. And it's a great upright naked bike. It's super, super skinny. Probably the skinniest road legal bike I've ever been on. I, I, Dirt bikes are skinnier, but this is all plastic and really isn't. Uh, and it looks tall at first, and it's not because it's so skinny that I have really almost no problem flat footing it, and I'm a short person. Um, not that short, but average height. Yeah, but because of that, the, the bars are really, really wide. So that might be something looking into for a customization. But, you know, I'll just go over all that and correct the details. I just wanted to get sort of a feel of the ride content with my first uh you know real few days with this thing and it is freaking amazing it's just the instant torque is just there's not really words because it's not a fast bike but it's always there always ready to just pounce and it feels so good and so effortless and no noise it's got this magic carpet ride feel to it just doesn't quite uh fit you, you know your motorcycling experience unless you've had other ev experiences but the comfort of it is just so nice so yeah this is kind of uh i do this a few days a week go back and forth which is another reason i didn't want to really use my aprilia to do it it just doesn't feel good it's hot and hot days it's awkward and loud and uh so that's why i got this thing yeah subscribe follow whatever uh do searches i'm going to produce some more content like i said i'm going to do a real in-depth quirks and features to kind of highlight all the little things the designers did to make this bike kind of take it a level up and makes it a premium bike and not just your average ev um so yeah thanks for riding along with me and take it easy and have a great holiday. We're right around a corner and uh, see you later. Ride safe. Yeah, so if uh, Yami was ever to describe this bike, he'd probably say it has a little bit je ne sais quoi, uh, which is the whole is greater than the sum of the parts. Uh, I believe that's the French phrase for that. I don't know. I don't know. I didn't study French. Maybe it's Italian. Maybe it's, uh, there's another word for that too. Uh, uh, in German, uh, gestalt, right? Bike has gestalt. It's got all of it and more. Hey, there's that state trooper that's been pulling everybody over all week. Woo!